Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti Falls or Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lueberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shea. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Do you need a... This man is smashing through! I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. 
I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Not let any through. It is imperative we stop those ships. The outcome of the war may depend on it. They're not alone, sir. Make good use of your own mortar, Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. And why? How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Ready those mortars, ship. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Another wave of fire ships, Captain! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Save! Get off the squad! Loose topsails, gallants!
There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would. I know. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the... I know. He's a good man, Gid. We're heading hard for life! Keep us afloat, sir! As we were fishing off Haysboro Line, shooting and holding and trolling all night. Ah, we're we're clues the up! He's a snake! We're still lads! A song! Ready, boys? It's the task of the life, the toil and strife. We will burn on the coal. And we don't give a damn when the hill has stopped. How hard the wind did blow. cargo for the taking, sir.
Chicago for the taking, sir. Flotsam, sir. Could be Brace valuable Squall, pick it up, Captain! The yards off the wind. The ancient hill of Arushi over there, sir. Floating cargo for the take off. Garland's Royal Studs. I did not mind expense. I bought a two gold earring, and they cost me fifty cents. And it's away, you Sandy, my dear Andy. Oh, you New York girls can't. We must take care. These waters are well guarded. Smash us, sir! 